Hello ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Gratzler here once again and in today's Adobe InDesign tutorial series we're going to talk about exporting our documents and preparing them for print. Now that we've gone through kind of the basics of InDesign and how to put things together and lay them all out and our design is all ready to go and all created, now it comes for the next phase is post-production, getting it ready to print. So we're going to show you in this episode how to prepare your document to send it off to a printer or how to print it yourself. So let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial and see how it's done. Now that we have all of our images and graphics and text in our document, we're going to get it ready for print. And so we're just going to show you how to correctly save your file and then also how to print it yourself if you want to print at home or at work. Before we print though, we want to make sure that we always proofread our work, make sure everything's correct. And not just proofreading the text, but also make sure everything is in place for the printer. That term is called pre-flighting. So it's just kind of going through and double checking our work. With InDesign, it's really nice because at the bottom here, as I mentioned in an earlier video, there's this little dot at the bottom. If it's green, it says no errors, which means you are good to go. What this tells us is that there's errors either in images, in fonts, or in visible text. Right now it's telling me there is one error. So if I click on this little arrow to the right of that, I can open my pre-flight panel. And my pre-flight panel opens up, I'll kind of bring it off to the side, and it'll give you a box here and list all of the errors that it sees. So right now we just have the one, but if you're doing a large book of 30 pages, there might be 10 to 15 different things in here. Maybe there's a text or font that you imported from a Word document that you don't actually own. So it's telling you, hey, whatever that font is, we don't have it. So you need to download that or purchase that font. Or, hey, the image that you placed in here, you went back and edited that image and it's not in the same place that we thought it was. So maybe you moved it to a different folder so it's unlinked or we can't find it. So there's a those are some of the kind of more common errors you might see. Another one is what we see here, which is telling me, hey, this text, if I click on this, it says overset text. What that means is that there's more text than is what is visible in the text box. And we talked about it in that adding text video, but what's nice is it's there for us and we can find it. So if I double click on it and I open that up, it says text frame and it says here it has a one. So my document's only one page, but what's nice is it tells you what page number this is located on. And you can see as I hover over it, it changes to a hand. If I click on that, it actually will take you and jump you to that error. So this is really cool when you have a lot of pages and a lot of information. Um, in the past, I've done pamphlets for like a theater production and you've got 15 pages and you've got photos and you've got bios and you've got a cast list and you've got credits. And so to go through that individually page by page, you can miss some stuff. So this is a great feature that allows you to click and it takes you right to where that mistake is. So you can see there's my little red square with a little plus sign in it saying, hey, you have overset text here. So my option is going to be, I'm going to click and drag this text box down until that goes away. I'm going to move it up a little bit. So now that's gone. And I can see over here, my pre-flight says no errors. So we are good to go. And I'll go ahead and close that. So always make sure before you, before you send it off to the printers, you always want to save periodically. But before you send it to the printers, you want to make sure you pre-flight. So down here, make sure you check for errors. If there are any, go to your pre-flight panel and search for where those errors are at and make any necessary corrections. So now that we've pre-flighted, we're going to go to our file drop-down menu and we're going to go to export. So we're going to export our document. So you can see this already had a preset title to it and there's a little folder that's all set. But what you can do is you can choose, click on your desktop, click on another folder and you can save it wherever you'd like. You can rename it. So will call this one a test brochure. And the type is really important here. So if I click on that, we don't want a PNG file. We want to save it as an Adobe PDF print. An Adobe PDF is a universal file type. Pretty much every printer can open an Adobe PDF file. So we're going to go down here and you'll see I've got two options, Adobe PDF Interactive and Adobe PDF Print. If I were creating an interactive ebook or some kind of a document where maybe people would click on a video and it would play, or there's an animated GIF inside there, I would click on Adobe PDF Interactive. So now with this file, I can upload it to a website or to you know an Instagram account or whatever it might be, and it's an interactive piece that people will work through. 
we are doing a static print document. So we're going to click on Adobe PDF print. So that is our file type. And then once we're done, we're just going to click save. Next, you're going to get this Adobe PDF window that's going to ask you some questions. Typically, we leave this just as it is. There's a lot of really great presets. The one thing we want to look at is this right here, Adobe PDF preset. We want to make sure it's set on high quality print. There might be some specifications. Your printer might tell you, hey, I need it set at this X3 colon 2002. And if that's what they need, then that's what you have to set it as. But typically, the, the best default is the high quality print. So it'll make sure that it saves high resolution images and it puts everything together so it's really great quality. Most of these other things I wouldn't worry too much about. Marks and bleeds, sometimes the printer might ask you if you're doing a large banner of some sort, like, hey, we need the markings and bleeds on here so we can see what to work with. And in that case, you would just kind of click on this right here, all printer marks, and it'll show crops, bleeds, registration, color bars, those things. And you can use the document bleed settings. So we had one in here. Uh, this one we didn't, but remember our original document from a previous video, we created a bleed on the outside of that. So I might click on that. So that's only if the printer requests that. If they don't request that, you don't need to worry about it. So go back to general. That's really it. Just make sure it's on high quality print. You don't want it modified because we just adjusted that real quick. The other option you might want to think about is view PDF after exporting. You can check that box. So that's more for your personal preference. If you want to see it open in a PDF after you've saved it, then you click on that box. If you don't really care, if you're like, hey, I'm just going to save it, I'm going to send it over, then you can just keep that unchecked. I'm going to go ahead and check that and click export. And there is my PDF document. So go ahead and expand that. And I can see now it'll give me a really great preview of what that's going to look like as a PDF printed document. So really nice and clean, very high quality images, high quality graphics. It's really nicely done. Obviously, it's not finished, but for this purpose, it works great. So I love the way that turned out. So now that I have that PDF file, I can attach that as to an email, or I can put that into a Dropbox folder or a Google Drive folder and share that with my printer. And then they can open that and print it out exactly as it is. So it's a great uh, quick way to get that ready for the printer. But if you wanted to print at home, it's pretty straightforward. We're just going to go to the File drop-down menu, and we're going to click on Print. And what you're going to do is first you're going to select your printer. I have a lot of printers downloaded on mine, but you're going to select whichever one you want to use. And the next thing you probably look at, most of this will stay pretty standard and you don't have to worry too much about it. But the other one you might want to look at is over here on the left is setup. So the other thing you might have to change is the paper size. So right now it says custom eight and a half by 11, but just to be safe, I'm going to scroll up and I'm going to click on letter eight and a half by 11 just to be safe on that, because that's the size of the document that I'm working with. So that might be the only thing you have to work on is, or edit is just the setup in the paper size that you're printing with. Everything else should be pretty straightforward. You just go ahead and click print and your document will come out and be ready for you. So that's just kind of the basics of exporting your document to PDF and getting everything ready for the printer or printing it yourself in your own home office or at home. So thank you so much for watching this video on InDesign and we'll see you in the next one.